This is the deficit rear foot elevated split squat. So the benefits of this or the setup, you'll use your bench or your roller or whatever you need to for your back foot elevated, just like you would in a normal rear foot elevated split squat. You may have to adjust the height based off how everything feels once you get your front foot elevated. But the deficit's gonna come from your front foot being elevated on a surface. You'll have your back foot elevated just like normal. And then you're going down. The benefit of this, is obviously you're getting that knee, the hip below the knee in that front position. Whereas in a normal split squat, you don't really get that full position. You can get a little bit more knee flexion here. So this looks more like the bottom of a squat versus a normal rear foot elevated split squat where in that bottom position, it's less of an angle here and it's less of a hip angle there. So you're not really getting that full depth in that position. And then the other benefit to this is when you're in that bottom position, you're getting more stretch in that quad. So depending on how you wanna load it, you can get that full knee flexion, more of a squat position here where I'm more forward, or I can even stay a little bit more back and get more of that knee angle in the back where I'm getting a stretch in my quad. So that's the benefit there is you're getting that stretch, you're getting that loading, you're getting the full range of motion, you're still able to load it, you can put dumbbells in your hands and then drive up from there. And that's the deficit rear foot elevated split squat.